In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to give you some tips on how to use the echo effect that's part of the new audio editor in PowerDirector version 17. On the screen, you see a clip I have. It happens to be an interview. We'll play a few it's seconds. It's definitely a really good atmosphere. Um, the community, especially in the dorms, is so good. Um, next year, we're actually turning Johnson Hall into an all-freshman dorm. Okay, what I'd like to do for all or part of this clip is to add an echo effect. Let me show you how we can do that in PowerDirector version 17. What I want to do first of all is highlight the clip and then click on the Tools menu and then choose the Audio Editor from the drop-down. That pops up my Audio Editor screen. I see I have some clipping going on. We won't deal with that in this particular exercise, but we are going to look at the tools on the left in the Adjustments section, we have one called Echo. Now, if you don't see it, the menu may be collapsed. And if you see Adjustments with the arrow pointing right, just click on it. It'll open up the submenu, and then you can choose Echo. This is our Echo screen, and it gives us three primary tools that we can use, plus some defaults, in order to add Echo to our video. Let me show you a little bit about that. The first option we have is a slider called Initial Delay Time, and that is time in milliseconds. Basically, that's how far the audio uh, effect of the echo is behind the original sound. So the farther you move to the right, the longer the distance between the original sound and the echo. The feedback slider below it is in percentages or ratios. It's how long the echo sound will last, basically how long before it fades out. And it can fade out very quickly towards zero, or it can fade out almost never if you set it to 100%. The third primary tool that you have in the screen is related to the equalizer. This is where you set the parameters of the sound as if you were in a room. If you have a hard surface, you'll have a brighter echo. If you try to emulate a softer surface, you'll have a darker echo. And then we have options where you can listen to the applied result or the original audio, and you can preview it, and you can do a reset anytime and then apply. Now you can apply the echo to the whole clip, which I would happen now, or if you happen to choose a range in the clip before you launch this, then the echo will only apply to the range in your audio track or your audio track of a video. Let me give you a couple of options here. We have some presets, we have a default, and five more. Let's look, look at what they do. Let's go back and listen to the original audio. It's definitely a really good atmosphere. Um, the community, especially in the dorms, is so good. Okay, now let's try an applied result and we'll do the default. Now the default has a relatively small time delay between the echo and the original sound and the feedback, the duration, they set to 40% and the sliders are adjusted as you see on the screen. Let's listen to that. It's definitely a really good atmosphere. Um, the community, especially in the dorms, is so good. Okay, let's try that from 40 going down to 20, roughly. It's definitely a really good atmosphere. Um, the community, especially in the dorms... Now let's go from 40 up to 80. It's definitely a really good atmosphere. Um, the community, especially in the dorms... Is so you can see how the second value here, the feedback value, controls how long before the, the echo fades out. And it gets much more difficult to hear as you go to the right, but if that's what you want, you can so do that. So I'll go back to reset, and that's our default. Let's look a little bit at another option. This is soft. Now the soft option that they give you is a slightly increased delay time, the feedback's gone up to 60, and they've done some movement of my sliders in certain audio bands. So let's preview the soft. It's definitely it's a really good atmosphere. atmosphere. Um, the, community, the community, especially in the dorms, dorms, is so good. Okay, let's look at another option we have here, which is heavy. Again, heavy has even longer delay time, about the same feedback, but they've changed the sliders. 
It's definitely it's a really good really atmosphere. atmosphere. Um, the, community, the community, especially in the dorm, is so good. good. We have one other option below heavy, which is whispers, and then we'll look at delay. Now notice on this one, we have a huge delay between the original sound and the echo sound. And we also have in the lower bandwidth, we have it turned down and we have the audio uh, about average for the higher bandwidth. Let's hear what this sounds like. It's definitely a really good atmosphere. Really um, the, good community, atmosphere. Especially um, the, the community, especially in the dorms, is so good. Um, next year. This almost sounds like you have an echo bouncing from a long way off. So it's a little bit of a technique to learn how to do that. There's one which is slightly similar. That's the next one called delay. And basically, we've got the, the length of the echo down a little bit. The delay time is about the same. The sliders are pretty close to what we had in the last example. We'll preview that. It's definitely, it's definitely a, really a really good atmosphere. atmosphere. Um, the, community, the community, especially, especially in the dorms, dorms is, so is so good. Now, the other option you simply have is to ignore all the presets and adjust these any way you like. We can turn the delay time down very small and see what difference that makes. It's, it's definitely, definitely a really, really good, good atmosphere. atmosphere. Um, the community, especially in the dorms, is so good. So here I have a, an average uh, echo time in my feedback slider and very small 68 milliseconds for delay time. So it's just a very small hint of, a, of an echo because the time between the original and the echo is pretty small. And if I increase it way over here to the right, let's hear what that sounds like. It's definitely a really good it's atmosphere. Really good um, the community, atmosphere, especially the in the dorms, is so good. So you have a lot of options as to how you can handle these three controls or any of the presets. And always click on Reset if you want. And when, when you're satisfied with what you've done, click on Apply, and it will apply the echo that you've designed to your audio track in CyberLink PowerDirector version 17.